Hello everyone, and welcome to Age of Mining. This is Yusufro, your server administrator, and today I'm going to be giving a quick look at Age of Mining and beginning a new video series. Basically, this video series will consist of me going around Age of Mining and showing off all the player creations. Basically, every day, once a day, I'm going to record a 2-5 to five minute video of some cool creation a player has made, and use this to help advertise our server and hopefully encourage a few new people to join. So, with that said, let us begin. So to begin with, here we are at the spawn area. This area is where players will first spawn when they first log in. Um, we keep it basically open and untouched, except for what I'm standing on here. Uh, we keep the spawn area open and untouched because we think it's unfair that some players should build over top of the spawn area, because it's not fair that you know they could be taking all the new players in um, and monopolizing the land, using it to recruit new players into role plays and whatnot. Uh, so it's untouchable, although right now the safeguards are off, just because we have a server-wide project building a massive subway tunnel. Um, as you can see in this picture here that I've just thrown up, we're creating an epically huge minecart system, and this will be for players to travel around the map, um, because we really we don't have teleport on right now. We don't use teleport because we think that it's cheap. Um, it's not fair that players teleport around, uh, and when players are teleporting, they're missing like half of the things people create. So we want it. We wanted to give Age of Mining a more realistic feel. Uh, so we didn't. We don't allow teleport, but we're creating a minecart subway system, which is pretty cool, and that'll help players um, get from one side of the map to the other. Because walking, I think, takes about like half an hour to forty-five minutes. <laughs> yeah, we have a huge map. Um, our map is ten k by ten k. Most of our players know that, but if you're not a player at Age of Mining, uh, just letting you know, our map is pretty big. Um, most servers aren't ten k by ten k, just because they're server hardware can't handle that type of map size where as we're actually renting pretty much top of the line hardware we have a sandy bridge cpu our cpu is i think right now the third or fourth best um if you look at cpu benchmark charts ours tops like third or fourth and you really need a cpu that high to have such a large map um anyway so i will go down to the spawn area um, and here we are at the spawn. Forgive me for, well, forgive Age Mining if you're new and wondering why there's only 8 people on right now, 9 people, it's because it's 3.30 a.m. on a weekday, and weeknights are fairly slow. Hopefully we change that, but we're trying to get more players from different time zones, so people at night aren't as lonely. So here we are, the main spawn area, I was showing you this before. Um, Let's just dive into the subway. Doo -doo -doo. So these tunnels are player created. Right now it looks like a mess because we haven't built the actual stations. But these tunnels, this tunnel here goes 5,000 blocks down. And it was all hand carved. It's five wide, three high, all hand carved by our players. Same with this way, it goes 5,000 down from where I'm standing. All hand carved, same with east and west. All the tracks as well, they're all player created, as well as our minecart gold blocks and whatnot. So we're using minecart system, um, and yeah, so uh, gold blocks are boosters, obsidian, stone is a placeholder, it will temporarily hold your cart there, and then you press the button, it will send it off. Pumpkins are minecart spawners, so you just click the switch, and it should spawn if you're not lagging like me. Oh, there we go. Our server doesn't lag, but right now my internet's lagging. Oh, and there it goes. What the heck? Ah! Looks oh, someone was playing around with the switch. Um, anyway. So yeah, here is our epic minecart system. It's still being created. We just started it last Friday, I think it was. Um, so there's still lots of work to be done. We don't really have any stations built yet, but hopefully after this weekend we have some stations built. Uh, what else can I show you around here? Here, I'm going to 
to show you Landoria right now. So let's teleport. Oh, before I do, we're asking all players to donate um, iron bars and whatnot, uh, or if they have minecart chalk, we desperately need minecart chalk because we don't want to create any admin created items. We want players to make this. It's not really fair that admin makes items for some things but not that others, so basically we have it disabled so admins can't create anything at all. Because um, we want to make sure the admins are playing fair as well. I mean, it's not fair that you guys, the players, spend so much time mining and stuff and then admin just create things. It's, uh, we don't do that. We have admin creating items. We have that turned off so we can't even accidentally do it. Um, so yeah, okay, here, I'll show you Landoria. Excuse me if I sound tired, because I am. It's 3.30 a.m. and I'm exhausted. I was up really early this morning. Anyway, here is Landoria. I think this isn't the cathedral. We're walking to the cathedral. But you see this. What is this we are in now? No, I'm doing a commentary. So it does not. So this is Landoria Palace, it's pretty epic. On the first day they started building this, they had 30 people at once working at it. They've created all of this in about a week and a half. So that's pretty impressive to create all of this in such a short time span. Also Shadow Hunter, he lives in Hawaii, so there was a day and a half where he couldn't work on it uh, due to the tsunami in Japan. Uh, we were actually online talking about it, I came online and he's like, there's a tsunami watch, and I looked up and saw what happened in Japan. And he said that he was hearing alarms um, since he lives on the coast of Hawaii. He lives in Honolulu, which is facing Japan. Um, anyway, so there were alarms and whatnot, and he ended up having to leave. Um, but yeah, Hawaii was unaffected by it. There was like no damage at all. Just to let players know right now, our Visa $40 gift card contest is still going on with $20 second place prize. It ends today actually, it ends tonight at 11.59pm, but if you're lucky, I will be extending it a few hours at most. But really don't place your bets on that, because I might not. Make sure that your, um, your build is advertised in the thread on our website, ageofmining.com. Uh, if it's not entered in the list, then I'm not going to check it out, and then you won't be able to win the Visa gift card. Uh, the winner will receive the Visa gift card via mail. I will be mailing it to you. Um, I'll be mailing it as soon as we pick a winner. So here's the cathedral. The Grand Cathedral. Daiti Menin Pajalsta. At work, there's a Russian guy, and <laughs> I was listening to Russian survival phrases, so I'm picking up a bit of Russian. Thank you, is spasiba. This, please, I think, is daiti menyan pachasta. And that's the extent of the Russian I know. Very nice, Shadow Hunter. Oops, Shadow Hutner. So tonight I also saw Battlefield, Battle LA, not that this has anything to do with Minecraft or Age Mining, but it's a pretty epic movie, I recommend everyone see it. I can't... I can't believe, excuse my own, it, yes it's nice, I can't believe how much you completed in such a short time. Makes me want to go to church <laughs> and pray to God. 
Anyway, uh, here, I'll tell you about... I know a lot of people are waiting on realms and whatnot, and we're really trying to get it working, but right now the mods are basically screwed up still. And not only that, there's a problem with craft bucket. Um, basically, if you have a multi-threaded CP like we do, craft bucket and the Minecraft server in general is so badly coded it only uses one thread. So if you have a multi-thread or hyper-threading or multi-core CPU, it's only using one thread on that CPU. So it's not like it's using like one tenth or it depends on if you have like four thread CPU, it's using one fourth of the CPU. So basically it's using like one quarter of the CPU of yours is quad threaded. <laughs> um anyways, with that said, uh since chunk loading is so inefficient right now, um if you have more than a dozen people online, you'll begin to notice lag if they're spread out throughout the map. Uh, so if we have multiple realms, that's people spread out not only through one map, but another map. Uh, the other problem was World Guard. Um, basically, World Guard was only... The settings you had for one realm would apply to the other realm. So, for example, on this one we have fire damage turned off, lava damage turned off, we have PvP turned off, but if we turn PvP on for the PvP realm, PvP would be turned on in the main realm as well, so we're waiting that, for that to be fixed. Um, hopefully it's fixed soon. Anyway, uh, I guess that's it for this video today. Um, I'll probably show you more of Landoria soon. I mean, this is just a small part of it. It's pretty epic. All of this created by a small group of people. Although, at first, he had over 30 people helping him. Soon this will be connected to the minecart station. Oh, actually, I'll save that for tomorrow's video. They have a pretty epic Landoria minecart station as well. It's pretty huge. Um, I'll see if Waldo can show me it. So anyway, that's the end of this video. I'll have another video tomorrow. Have a good night, everyone. Or day, or morning. And remember, sign up, ageofmining.com. Thanks, bye.